a formidable opponent. Michael's I would, amazing. I would not sleep I, on him. So Michael this, 41 billion out here. I'm expecting this to be a competitive set. Or Squidge is going to mollywop him. Yeah, One Michael. Michael's choosing his uh, his heights really well, so he doesn't <clears> get lasered. Yeah, so Michael is, you know, he's a puff player, so he's going to be defensive. That's yeah, how but, uh, Squid is also playing defensive. Yeah. Like, when when uh, Squid had Michael in the corner, um, he he just went back to the to the center stage and he let Michael go into center stage. Like he's not. Yeah. He doesn't even care about like where Michael is on the stage. He's yeah. just going to keep his distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like they're both trying to zone each other out so far. Yeah. But uh, Michael's been getting the better end of it so far. If they're going for nickel and diming. Yeah, Squid yeah. just has to adjust to like the pattern that that Michael, uh, where he goes, like after he gets yeah. lasered or you know. So something when Squid lasers. A way that I like to think about Michael's play style is that he sort of has like posts on the stage. So like sometimes he like right around here is where Mike likes to post up. It's just like he yeah. likes to stay right under that side platform and then sort of put up his wall there. He's like, yeah. this is this is my fortress. Yeah, he's Try like, and breach it. Yeah, and and Squid's being smart not to approach. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like Michael definitely likes to post up. But the the cool thing about how Michael plays, I think, is that he can like move his post too, like. He just, he's not comfortable in just one part of the stage. He's comfortable in many spots. Yeah, every now and then, like I mean, that's how that's how Hungrybox does it. You know, yeah. like he he makes you think that he's gonna be playing a certain pace, and he, he gets you really used to that. Like almost, mm. it's so slow that it's almost hypnotizing. Yeah. And then the, and then that's when Michael attacks. You know, you won't see it every now and then. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like okay, yeah, you're just gonna stay over there. Then I can feel comfortable. Like with every your every you. two and a half minutes, he'll yeah. like go for a, a tomahawk or something. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't like Puff. Uh, <laughs> I think no, like I, I just think that it's really annoying that like stage control doesn't really matter. It kind of breaks the fundamentals of the game. Gotcha. I actually think Puff is, I I think Puff's a really interesting character personally. So, it, it, she's interesting for sure, but not for the eight minute like yeah setup that we have here. Like <laughs> true. The rules uh, are arbitrary and they don't really they they advantage Puff so much. Well, I'll say this. I like I like playing against Puff because I think it's a fun challenge. But maybe like you know as a spectator event. It's not, it's uh, not as great, but like, I mean, I still think it's an interesting thing, like, okay, how is Squid gonna get in here and actually land a hit on Michael? Uh, like, he has to wait. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, it's just, it's not good. Oh, that's a, ooh, really good tech there. That was like a really scary spot there, and he could have lost his stock. Oh. There you go, Michael slips There he goes. Takes first stock. That's yeah, how it, it took, starts. Uh, it took three, three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and now, yeah. Now he got some juicy that, percent. That forty-one percent is huge. Yeah, that was like the quickest percent I think that's been added on this set yeah, so far. Th this was Squid's plan all along, and it's finally playing out. Where, yeah, like, like getting get the, the lead and then and getting then get that, that first stock is definitely a big yeah. deal. Like Puff's half dead now. One good down tilt, mm -hmm. couple of downers, like it's over. Yeah, now Michael needs to figure out. Now it's the tables are turned. It's like, how's Michael gonna? Get this stupid bird off stage. Yeah. There he goes. Catches him trying to edge cancel. All right, then Puff goes back to the ledge. So I haven't seen Michael play against Spacey's very much, but I'm sure that he has pretty good rest setups, right? Uh, he he actually is pretty uh, safe in terms of like resting. Like he can rest and he does, but not as often as uh, yeah. Like no, I've Hungry definitely Box noticed that at, any other puff, mm -hmm. like he, he he'll just use his aerials and wait for you. Yeah, I've definitely noticed that as uh, I, and when I play against him as Sheik, there are only like very specific scenarios where he's comfortable going for the rest. But uh, a lot of times he just doesn't even try to set up for it. And it's Michael's brought the percents back to even at this point. But uh, I mean, although the percents are even. Puff's like health bar is a little bit lower. Oh, oh wow! wow he, although I think that I think I respect Squid enough that he probably would have shortened that. Oh, I think it's good enough to do it. that. 
This squid's got, I got all the shortens on deck. Yeah. But like, it's been five minutes into this match and only one stock is gone. I mean, this was Michael's plan all along. Yeah. He really wants to test Squid's patience. Well, honestly, I think both these guys. I like how you see how Michael is just like grinning this entire time. <laughs> yeah, he likes this. You like that? That's the that's the other thing about Michael. You can tell he has fun doing what he does. He's not he's not being spiteful. He enjoys every second of melee. Well, yeah, it's because he's the one who's in control. <laughs> oh wow. Just, Michael messes up his punch. Yeah, squeezes right above Michael's uh, dash attack there. I think Michael enjoys the fact that, like, Squid has to shoot down to his level. <laughs> I think he likes it. But, yeah, I guess he just likes, uh, he gets to play. Everyone has to play his game. It's like, you guys, Squid's like, all right. You guys get to play my game. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on the platform. This is Super Smash Brothers Michael. Super Smash Brothers Michael. There you go, that's perfect. Uh Squid's not going for as many grabs as I'd hoped. Yeah. But uh He's really sticking with his back. Well he's definitely uh, he's definitely uh, feeling comfortable right now. He's <laughs> I'd say that Squid has been a little pulled a little bit ahead this entire game. Yeah. And yeah, he's he's expecting the timeout. He knows that's gonna happen, so he's just giving Michael less time to uh prepare for it yeah although always remember that like I mean rest now still Michael has to come in. rest uh, hasn't stopped existing yet yeah, these next 80 <laughs> seconds are very critical oh really scary with that up air there he could have gotten something big off that but uh, he's able to shield it Michael's now Mike, taking his time here. Yeah, now the uh, now the pressure's starting to build on Michael here. He only has one minute to uh, catch up. Oh, no. oh. oh no! He, I think he could have gone for. Oh no! He's, he's gonna, no. Oh my god! He's gonna make. Oh, that's yep. so big. That is so big. Michael really dropped the ball there. Yeah, he, he like, almost had a rest. Yeah, he I think he could have gone for. Throw. I think he opted to not go for he, the rest there. He went for back throw instead of yeah. up throw. I think he really wanted to try and get decision. the. Uh, I think he just wanted to try and get the back air edge guard and just get the guaranteed lead instead of going for the tie and then it going from there. But uh, now, now he's in a pretty bad spot. He went for the gamble. Oh, I don't know. Squid with oh, the he's stalling just strats. Yeah, actually, that's, that's actually really pretty smart. Because like, how now long he does he get? To, time. He gets to stand up here, then he gets two seconds of invincibility. Yeah. So he actually only has nine seconds to get no, the lead on. Falco should on only do full hop down here, so. Okay. All right, double jumps. Oh, that's going to be it, yeah. Peace. He makes it. All right, Squid gets game one. Michael tried My, his best, yeah. but Squid. These guys are having a great time, Squid though. Squid says, get that shit out of here. <laughs> All right. So, I bet Dreamland, right? Yep. Yeah, we're going back to Dreamland. Here we go. So this is a stage where I feel I hope Mike can uh, Michael can uh, get a rest here because like that's gonna be a really big deal in order to because that's a tool that Puff has that Falco doesn't. Oh man, Michael's cool level isn't isn't enough to rest. You don't think he's comfortable enough right now? Well, he just doesn't have the he doesn't have the swag level yet. Like, <laughs> you, you think rest? He, is, he just went for timeout. You think he's gonna rest? But you think that rest is swag? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's the <laughs> most effective method, and it yeah. looks cooler than Wobble. It does, they it does fucking look cool though. explode. It's it so cool. Sick. It is pretty sick. But it doesn't feel good getting rested. No, it doesn't. It doesn't feel cool I would at say, all. I would argue that game. it feels worse to get uh, timed rested out. than Wobble. Timed out. Oh, gotcha. Timing out is the worst out of all of these. Nice, yeah. But Michael misses tech. That's a, those are huge, very important techs. And oh, but that's oh, a yeah, that's a mistake that you can't Squid make. Squid misses up his stall. Yeah. I mean, you have to be frame perfect to actually get that stall. Yeah, so, it's, it's mean, not easy. It's but, a, but Squid does it all the time. He's gotcha. actually one who's who's popularized using the stall with Falco. Not many Falcos do that. Michael went for the drill grab there, but he pressed the a little too early and got late shield instead. I like Squid's use, use of uh, forward air here. He, you know, like just every now and then. Yeah, because I mean, it's one of Falco's. Uh, for I think it's Falco's. Uh, Forward facing move with the most range. Yeah, and it starts up at an angle that Puff like likes to come in at. So yeah, like, because uh it's pretty good. Yeah, it kinda hits above him a little bit. Yeah. So it sort of dodges a back air. 
in a sense. Yeah, Squid not going for many grabs. I think you could really afford that to, to yeah. afford to put that in his mix-up repertoire. But yeah, because you get you, you know, get follow-ups off a of grab. But you know, he's the one who's being timed out, so I figure. You know, I wouldn't want to approach either. Well, no, I, I feel like timeouts go both ways. I feel no. like people don't just get timed out by somebody. No, it, Puff is the only play character that can do that. I mean, if, if this was a different matchup, that makes sense. But, like, Squid has been in the center of the stage the whole time. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's I really feel hard like to say Squid that. Squid timeout against other people it, before. I mean, Puff. that's true, but, like,. You just have to have the reads. Like, like Squid is a very patient player. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I think he, he'd Squid also is just a player who's comfortable with timeouts. Like, he he's not afraid of them happening. He's not afraid of them happening, but I'm sure that he doesn't want them happening. Yeah. So yeah, Squid's just been kind of had this whole stock. Fine. Yeah, Puff can always make something happen, but uh, Michael has been making things happen really. He's been. Uh, Oh, dang, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's actually a, something that I really Oh, like no, that's going to be a trade there. Nice. Dang it. Got the kill. That's rough for Michael, but, I mean, he's at a really high percent, so it's not too bad. One of um, Michael's staples in this punish game is the, forward is the Domahawk forward smash. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he does that like Falco all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he often opts for that instead of rest. Covers the roll. That was really good. Yeah, because there aren't a lot of ways for Puff to get out of shield besides, like, roll. Yeah. Her uh, aerials out of shield aren't the best. At least when someone's, like, right on top of her. These guys are both uh, feeling a little comfy. But... Yeah, there's his grab. Yeah, Squid's just been a little bit, he's just been kind of quick on uh, Michael uh, inching forward even a little bit. Like whenever yeah, you Michael- You just have to have really good reactions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's really what it's been. Squid's just been reacting to Michael's approaches. So anytime that Michael tries to leave his post, Squid's waiting there with a back air. Oh, but that's big. Oh, really good edge cancel. That's definitely saved his life. They definitely did. Squid back to shooting him. Oh, up tilt. We'll kill. All right. So this match is actually somehow going faster than the battlefield one. Well, Michael realized it didn't work out. He's been approaching more. Yeah. Oh, that's big though. Yeah, that's Up big tilt, damage. down air. Yep. Oh, nice tech, tech chase, chase down air. That, yeah. yeah, that's a huge combo. Like, oh. Shine grab still covers. He just shines again. That was a really good series by by Squid. Yeah. yeah for his sure. victory is essentially guaranteed unless yeah. he gets rested. Yeah, exactly. Michael basically needs to rest or get a cra uh, crazy like combo. Yeah, Let's he see. needs like one back air to rest. And, like, he needs a Michael combo. Squid just needs like two more back airs. Yeah. Maybe one. Yeah, Squid can just uh, chill out right now. May not chill out, but uh, he doesn't have to work as hard as he has been this whole game. Oh yeah, Squid. Let uh, me just hang out here. Edge cancels. Really good way to sort of gain center stage there. Wow, that was Get fast. Get fucked, Michael. Thought you were slick. Yo, Squid, yeah, Squid was. Squid tricked him there. Squid is on the, the next level. Yeah, that was that was actually real sneaky. Yeah. What he just did. I like that. You only get one ledge bait. Because uh, cause Puff can just grab ledge way too, so much easier than any other crazy. Good crouch cancel. Squid is positioning himself really well in order to like snipe Michael um, off the top platform. He says, dude, you're not getting top. Yeah. You're not getting top platform. No, Squid's lasers have been like, great. The like, the only platform that you get is the side platform. And yeah, because it's really hard for Falco to actually shoot those platforms. Yeah. Like, unless you're also, you're also on a side platform. 
I think he might have been able to go for a down air there and then go for a tech chase, possibly. I think he just wants to knock it away. Yeah. He's, he's trying to be safe. Especially at the first stop. Oh, that's bad. Okay, yeah. He could have over first back air. Oh, wow. Misses it. That, that is definitely a big miss by Michael. He needs to capitalize on those opportunities. Yeah, I feel like Michael hasn't Ooh. been able to really, like... This is full up. He has not been able to catch Squid's recoveries. Like... Squid has just been making it back. Yeah, Squid's been choosing good heights to do his side move. Okay, that should be a dead Falco, though. Yeah, his back here beat out the down Yeah. <laughs> I think this might be one of the first times that Michael has actually had to lead this set, too. So, let's see how he plays that. It looked like he started out by, yeah, he's like... He's hanging out by the ledge now instead of the uh, side platform. All right, we're two minutes in. We got one stock now. Yeah. Oh, that. Fishing that was for the, rest there. Yeah, yeah, that was the first time I think Michael actually tried to get a rest. <laughs> Ooh, really nice spacing on that down air from Squid. He almost got grabbed on it. Yeah, he uh, he buffered roll after that down air. He just he was just testing the waters. Yeah. Yeah, good grab. Would have done the same. Oh, he ducks under the laser, I like it. Oh, that was a really good up yeah. tilt. It's so hard to get buff when she's Man, like these guys are really away. fighting for stage control. There's like no hits being landed, but they're like They're just moving around each other. Yeah. They're yeah. really sort of testing they're, each other's space. Yeah, they're playing a really close zone right now, like This rollout by Squid. He's not trying to get grabbed off that down. Here. Yeah, Squid's been doing a really good job at like just uh, avoiding unsafe situations. Like he's just not gonna be in a situation where Michael could even could like even think of getting a rest. Oh, that was a really good fake. Squid jumps up, makes Michael think he goes. He's going to top platform, and then yeah, he jumps back with down. a laser. And I think you can also just sort of react to what Michael's doing. Too. Yeah. So it's like he could have gone there if he saw Michael like approaching for the ledge. Yeah, like, because so because Falco's jump is so fast, he can really react. He can watch Puff in the air and see what she's doing. Yeah, that's a really that's a really smart thing that I've never been able to really do. Is sort of like pick an option and then uh, sort of watch my opponent's reaction to it like that. Yeah. It's like it's hard to babysit like in the air. Ooh. Stuffs him out. That was actually a really bad DI by Michael. Yeah, it was. Really, he, he could have lived. I that. think I think he was just trying to drift in and just. Uh, yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't holding out, or he was. Ooh. I think he was trying to hold out. He was trying to drift out because he realized he went too close, and then he got beggared. Oh, do you see Squid just run up and uh, do a running shine there? He like he just knew that Michael was gonna land and not challenge Squid. Yeah, shine grab's really good against Puff. Because, like, Puff's not going to be able to yeah, spot Squid, dodge Squid's or, Squid's been like, landing tons of hits to stock. I like how Squid only really does, like, one up smash, and then he goes back to center stage. Like, yeah, no, he's, he's definitely really just... been conservative with his punishes. Yeah. But uh, he's been getting a lot of punishes, just very small ones. It just takes time. He definitely just nickel and dime to Michael this whole stock. And now Michael's almost dead. You see he's like a down tilt or a back air. Peace. Not letting Michael get away yeah. with that. Yeah, now uh, this is going to be tough for Michael. He's definitely... He definitely has to. Uh, I think he just needs to get rid of this. There stock you quickly. go. That's he lasered yeah, him down to the ground and then, and then got the uh, he got the other grab. That's a big up tilt. Yeah. yeah, Michael's punches just haven't been like super strong this set. I feel like oh. That's true. Here we go. But he doesn't go for but the rest. That but he doesn't need it. All right. Yeah, I know. No, uh, it went Game to two like not the last two minutes. All right, let's see if Michael can uh, 
get on the board here. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty even, but 33 on puff is still yeah. a decent amount. Let's see if Michael amount. will actually go for rest. I don't oh. think he will. <laughs> Squid could have ended the game right there. He missed the mistake. Punish. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that was really a really risky uh, wave yeah. dash bet. Uh, that was up tilt. This, this feels kind of tense right now. Like, I don't Squid, know. It looks like Squid's kind of in control. Yeah. But I mean, like, Mike, and you always know that Puff can make something happen, Mike. That's true. But Michael just hasn't been doing it so far this set. Like, Michael hasn't been, like, he hasn't had that threat of, like, I will end your stock right now if you're not careful. And that's it's the just, thing that makes, like, Hungrybox so scary, I just, right? I think it's just the nature of the game. Like, a lot of times when Hungrybox, like, goes in on people, he's been, like, aggressive enough. That's it. But Squid outpatience, Michael. Yeah, no. Exposing.